Nativity 2, Danger in the Manger, the sequel to Nativity. Okay? Remember Nativity? Nativity exclamation mark, I think the, the original one was. There was uh, an article recently in the Irish Times, um, which was an interview with Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen said a very nice thing about me, which I'm going to read because it has, it has significance. He said that he thought that what I was good at doing was being a defender of genre films and of children's films. He says, I think the point is that he, he always makes me, me, is that you have to judge a film and everything else on their own terms. It's pointless judging a film's meant for 12, 13, 14 year olds with the same criteria as a film that's aimed at 30 year old men. He then goes on to say I remember Mark made a very good defence for Alvin and the Chipmunks. I didn't like the film but it was a good argument. Now the point about that is and why I take that as the ultimate compliment is judging a film on its own terms is I think what a film critic ought to do and if I've ever managed to get that right then that's great and if you know Michael Sheen, what is he just, no, just, no, just wait a minute, just ahead of the Prime Minister this is from uh, Nick Robinson in Brussels The first nativity was a success in, in those terms. I mean it flirted with disaster in sort of cranking up the end and sort of overplaying it but actually it was rather charming and rather enjoyable and that's exactly why so many people when seeing the posters for Nativity 2 going by on buses are going oh I really want to go and see that because they had surprisingly good memories of seeing the first one I mean critics might have been sniffy about it but the fact is the first one worked first one starred Martin Freeman basically what you have with the second one is an attempt to reproduce the formula of the first one in fact this is a quote from Nick Jones not my Nick Jones Nick Jones who's one of the producers on the film says it sorry ouch says, it's always difficult doing a sequel because you want to offer what the first movie offered, but you want to take the characters on a journey as well. That's why we thought for the second one we should take everybody outside and take them on an action adventure, which automatically flags up holiday on the buses, OK? This film stars not one, but two David Tennants. I love Christmas. The tree, the lights, even the shopping. And this Christmas was all about new beginnings. I was starting a new job at a new school and having my very first baby. Well, that's what Christmas is all about, family. The only problem was I didn't get on with my family, especially my twin brother, Roderick. But I wasn't going to let that spoil things. No. Hi! No, I just had a feeling. Will you put this on the tree? This was going to be the best Christmas no, ever. Not yet. I'm back. No. Oh! Oh! I'm just a bit stuck. I love Christmas. Yeah. I'm glad that we're here and I'm glad that we've moved away. Yeah. What was the headmistress like? She seemed good. She seemed like she really knew what she was doing. Did you meet anybody else there? No, she didn't want me to. No, from what she said, the staff are fantastic. Sounds like the perfect school. And you see, I love David Tennant, and I really like the first Nativity, and the not the first Nativity, obviously the first yes, Nativity the, exclamation the movie. <laughs> That's right, Nativity. You were there, at the original there yeah, one? exactly. I'm were you an ass. I'm a boomtish here all week. Okay, so in this, he's not one character; he's two characters. He's a guy who's just got a new job in a school, which is the school that wants to go and take part in the singing competition. He's also got another brother who is a very big chorister, choir master, who's very, very famous, and he's clearly going to win the competition. But now, okay, obviously we have to up the ante. How are we going to do it? Okay, this time they have to go to Wales in order to take part in the competition, and in order to get them to Wales, that will involve them traipsing over the countryside. It will be involve them going down river rapids. It will involve them going through caves. It will involve them hanging off the edge of cliffs, picking up donkeys and babies en route. And the finale, if you thought the finale for the first movie was overblown and slightly stretched the grounds of credibility in terms of, you know, what you could actually get away with in an allegedly amateur uh, Christmas song competition, well, this is just loop-de-loop -loop bonkers off the scale. Mark Wooden's Mr Poppy, again, who's this meant to be this kind of, you know, jolly man-child who's, you know, is meant to have a sort of CBeebies appeal of being sort of, you know, young and dead and all that. Here's the problem. Firstly, it's not funny, and it's not funny in a way which reminds you just how funny Nativity was. And I say this, uh, it, it believe me, you. it does pain me because I really want this to be good, and it really isn't. David Tennant, who has proved himself, you know, uh, perfectly able to keep a straight face whilst reversing the polarities in TARDIS and going backwards and forwards and having things with Daleks being able to walk up and down, all the rest of it, none of that's a problem. But in this, he is having a problem selling you a story in which essentially... There's a group of people traipsing across, you know, going down river with a baby and a dog. And all you keep thinking is, yeah, and the police are arriving when? The police are en route even as we speak because it's the whole idea about we have to take everything out, you know, dramatic invention, we have to do the holiday on the buses thing. Ten minutes into it, it's gone so far beyond the realms of credibility that it's not just that you're going, 
okay, you know, I, I want a gritty, hard, realistic plot. I want end of watch in terms of nativity. You just go, I just don't want to be insulted in terms of how much I'm having to accept that this is just not happening. The Mr. Poppy character is much more sort of threatening and weird than he is funny and entertaining. I mean, the fact of the matter is, you keep thinking, I kind of want the police to turn up to stop all this stuff because as they're going on, as the stuff is increasing, as they're hanging people over the edge of rocks and everything is cranking itself up more and more, it's becoming less and less funny. And the real shame of it is it's the classic British comedy thing. We made one movie, it was raggedy and had rough edges and we we aren't quite sure how it worked, but it did. Now we want to do it again. But in order to make it different from the first one, we'll have to take them off on tour. And it, the holiday on the buses rule always applies. You go off on tour, you leave. The thing that made it funny was you weren't on tour the first time. I wanted to like it. It hurt is not Ga- to is, like it. Is Gambit funnier than Nativity 2? Yes. Okay. 